Today I am in Chattanooga, Tennessee for the World of Wheels and uh, I'm at the Convention Center in downtown Chattanooga. I'm going to show you just a little bit of the uh, building right here as I'm walking in and the beautiful architecture. So y'all stay tuned and let's see if we can find some cool rides. Now I'm not a new car guy, but uh, I just want to show you one thing on this Infinity. This is a brand spanking new Infinity on display outside the car show. I love, love, love the seats in this thing. Man, those are the bomb.com. It looks like there is a building full of cool stuff here. So let's take a little walk around here and see what we can find. We are very, very fortunate here in Tennessee to live in an area where there are tons of uh, car shows around. And, um, you know, it goes straight from uh, uh, car show season into uh, November, December. We have a little break pretty much to, uh, you know, uh, spend some time with the family during Christmas and in January. Yeah. In February, the indoor car shows start up. Got uh, several vendors at this show, as you can see right there, some powder coating. Check out this 69 Dodge Daytona. This is one of the winged cars of that era. Check out the undercarriage under this thing. Man, it is sanitary. It looks like it is uh, very expertly restored. Even the mufflers I noticed right there are um, Mopar. They are the period correct mufflers on this uh, old Dodge killer car. <laughs> this is, like I said, an indoor car show and there are uh, tons of show cars in here and most of them have uh, very nice displays as you can see right here or you can see up underneath the car and these are very very high-end cars and this is probably the only show of the year like this that I go to and uh, check out these ultra super high-end cars like this but I just love to look at all kinds of cars from rat rods to these uh, radical show rods but there is a little bit of something here for everyone it looks like today uh, from the 19 uh, early 1900s to the uh, muscle cars and the fat fendered 50s cars several vendors like I said over here and uh, Plenty, plenty to look at. Love the uh, color combo on this old uh, Chevrolet right here. And uh, check out this uh, surround they've got underneath the hood. LS powered looks like. Supercharged as well. Man, what a nice wheel and tire combo on this car with the red line tires and picks up the red right, and the right, interior. Miller set up over here with some of their wares. Brooke Sanderlin, Justin Brown, Jeff Jones. Here is something for the mini truck guys. That's what I want to say. I used to have one of these uh, Mazdas back in the late 80s. To the souvenir booth. Make sure and stop by our souvenir booth. We've got cups. I think we've got mugs, hats, t-shirts. Get this year's shirt. Love these old Volkswagens. And this one apparently is named Firebug. Looks like it was in a, a fire at one point in its life. Uh, I guess that's what resulted in the patina on this car. 
and it looks like it's been cleared over, but I absolutely love the story behind this. And like I said, they have nice displays here. All of them are, uh, it's part of the show. You know, they, they build these displays and they, they jack some of them up like this. This one's got the wheels taken off of it so that you can see all of the suspension work underneath. And you know, most of them have mirrors underneath. And like I said, these are show only cars. You know, these see very little road use. They are just almost uh, pieces of artwork. <laughs> Love this Rolls Royce. I saw this down here last year. And uh, one of the things I particularly love about this, if you'll notice the centers on this car, I don't know this for certain, but I'm, I think that those stay stationary as uh, you're rolling down the road. So the, the double R right there in the center cap stays uh, in that position. Very cool. So I'm just gonna meander around here a little bit and you're gonna see the show kinda as I see it. And uh, over here is the Pharaohs, it looks like, car club. And they have several cars roped off right here in the center. So uh, they're representing their club. You know, these, uh, these Camaros of this era right here are really gaining popularity. And uh, this one is a T-top model. It's an 86, a Z28. Absolutely some gorgeous, stunning cars in here. Here's a 65 Corvette. And again, I like the period correct tires on it. Those are kind of a gold line. Matches that uh, blue very well. And it looks like just a, a good original survivor. There's a lot of old, uh, older cars here, muscle cars, and there's a lot of newer stuff here too. Just a little bit of something for everybody. Y'all know that this one right here is likely gonna be one of my favorites because I am a sucker for these old Chevy 3100s, as y'all know, if anybody that's uh, watched the channel for very long. This is a 1954, only made that grill um, for 54 and part of 1955. So that's uh, only a year and a half that uh, that was uh, produced. And there are some other certain specific things to the 54, 55 body style like that um, one piece windshield. 1954 was the first year for that one piece windshield. Before then, uh, they had the divider in the middle and it had a two-piece windshield in it and the uh, glass was actually flat. It was a V'd in the middle and uh, what I like about that is um, you can just go to any glass shop and get that glass cut. Now here is another uh, 1954 or 55 uh, Chevy 3100. This one is a 54, one year only for that badge right there on the side of the hood. I really like this one. Probably a little more my, my style. Little, little bit, uh, you know, not as hardly as shiny as the other one. I wouldn't be near as afraid to uh, drive that one around. Got a jacked up uh, Chevy Silverado over here. This is an interesting little Jeep. Let's check this thing out. Looks like it's got a 383 stroker under the hood right there. <laughs> I bet that's a lot of fun. Jerry Mathers. 
The B from Leave It to Beaver has taken the celebrity stage. Come on back to where you see the children on the bungee jump. Drop the children off and get a picture and an autograph. Leave it to be on the stage, celebrity stage. If you see the bungee jump, the stage is right beside it. Come on back. I'm loving those old uh, bump side Ford F-150s, or F-100s, excuse me, more and more. Got a, uh, a donk over here, even. So uh, if that's your thing, uh, here's a, an Impala donk, as they call them. It's got the big old wheels and tires on it. Small block Chevy under the hood. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a little after 12. Welcome to the O'Reilly Auto Parts 56th Annual World of Wheels. If you come back to the celebrity stage, to meet and greet Jerry Mather. The children have Hot Wheels racing going on back here. There's a good line going on, the bungee jumping. We're gonna walk around and do a few drawings, give away a few prizes. Uh-oh, I may have to take a break right here and get some samples. Looks like the Volkswagens are taking over this year. I absolutely love this one. Man, the color on this thing is just great. And the thing that I particularly like about this little VW is that there's not just a whole lot of flashiness to it. It's just uh, mostly painted, no, no uh, over excess of billet stuff and just you know chrome everything it's just basic but it's so well executed and the other really unique thing about it it's right hand drive it's even got just basic black steelies on it with hubcaps but it is so sanitary i just love it <laughs> they are racing Hot Wheels over here for the kiddos. That is really cool. So if you didn't bring your own, you can buy some right here and then race it. A little something else for the kiddos here to do while you're at the car show. So they're just bungee jumping over here. Here's something you don't see a whole lot anymore. These were, uh, you know, pretty popular back in the uh, kind of the fad T era. This is a C cab. It's just a variation on a uh, T bucket kind of. It's just got the little extra back here and the C cab right there. And this has got a delivery door on the back of it. Don't see much anymore, but uh, way back uh, in the uh, 70s, I'd say, you've seen uh, quite a few of those. Ruder Wills back here too. Come by and see him. He's in, right over here by Thunder in front of the concession stand. Indian Motorcycles of Chattanooga is set up here with a few of their bikes. And they've got a little bit of new versus old going on over here. Love the way this bike is dressed. But I think my favorite is this 1948. Man, that red, just can't beat it. And they got another 1948 over here. But this red one just does it for me. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. Here's a little modern interpretation of the old, if you so desire. But I still think that red one is perfect. Over here we got some uh, custom baggers. And it's interesting to see how the custom motorcycle scene has changed over the years from uh, the influence of uh, big uh, shows like Orange County Choppers. Now they have uh, totally shifted in style to these great big huge front wheels with the tail end dropped. 
And over here we got some uh, custom Harleys. Every one of them has ape hangers on it. <laughs> Seems to be a common denominator among this uh, group of Harleys. I think this one right here is my favorite just because I like the way it's colored up. Like I said earlier, I think this is a Volkswagen Invasion this year at World of Wheels. And this one is just about as custom as it can get. And the name of this one is Audacity. Here is my favorite Mustang here today. This is a 1966 GT350H. That H on the end stood for Hertz, as in Hertz rent a car. In 1966, you could go rent one of these limited edition Mustangs and drive it. And as legend goes, some guys took these, rented them, and uh, put a roll cage in it for the weekend, took the carpet out and installed a roll cage and took them to the drag strip. And I've heard other stories of guys renting these cars and taking them home and pulling the engine out of them and replacing them with a standard run of the mill V8. Okay, now I'm gonna show you just a little bit of contrast. Right here we have a 1930 Ford Model A hot rod. Love the color on this car, love the interior. A gorgeous little car, small block Chevy V8. It's pretty typical for these little cars. Now I'm gonna take you right over here. And for contrast, here is a 1930 original Model A, albeit a convertible. This is a Roadster. But you can see uh, just how different this original is from the hot rodded one and how many custom details are on the first one. Man, this truck right here is just incredible. Look at the bedwood in this thing. Awesome, awesome. See if I can get you a little bit of a shot of the interior. Can't get too close to this one. We'll walk, walk right over here and take a peek under the hood though. Wow. Oh, they got the door open on here on the other side. So maybe we can get a little bit of a, a peek in there. I like the color combos on this truck. And like I said, these guys spend a ton on these displays. Check out that little custom detail. Got the truck engraved in those lots. I don't know, I've lost the live here somewhere, but I'm gonna bet this one right here is her favorite vehicle here. There's several uh, kind of more unusual vehicles over here in this section. Over here we've got a 1960, right, I believe this is, Edsel Ranger. Come on up to the This is a 1963, I believe. Studebaker, and I believe this is a Gran Turismo model. These would have had a 289 in them. Got a Plymouth Duster up here. Oh, I see the sign up there it says this is the orphanage over here in this section. <laughs> so I guess this is for uh, uh, orphan brands and kind of unusual uh, cars. This is the uh, first and only AMC vehicle I've seen here today. This is a 1970, I believe, AMX. 
and um, these would have had a 396 NMA, if I'm not mistaken, with 325 horsepower. And indeed, it looks like it's got the V8 in there. 390 cubic inch. Got a late model Thunderbird. I'm not sure that's a orphan brand, but um, this is a 2003 Thunderbird. Let's see what we've got around here on this side over here. We've got a red. Uh, what is this? I think this is a DeSoto. This is a 1960, I believe. DeSoto Adventurer. Now, I'd say that is definitely an orphan. Should have a, yep, a 383 in it. 305 horsepower. Cross Ram induction. All right, thank you very much. Got a scout over here. This license plate says 1979, so I wouldn't know on the scouts. I'm not an expert on those by any stretch of the imagination. Right, well, Here's that Edsel Ranger again. My favorite thing about these cars is the tail lights. Man, I just love those tail lights. Looks to be all original. Although I believe it's restored. It even has the window sticker right there in the back window. You take a look at it. Gorgeous car. Probably my favorite original car here today. This is Bob's question for the golden anniversary of Cadillac. Another killer little Volkswagen here. This one has the ragtop, which I really like. My favorite thing, though, is the interior. You might not can see it too good through the uh, window right there due to the reflection, but it's kind of a uh, gray with a red piping and houndstooth inserts in it, which is really cool. Just very subtle, not too overly done. Really, really nice little Volkswagen. And I love the Nerf bars on the front. Well, I've got to uh, take back my earlier prediction. I think this is going to be the wife's favorite here today. I would love to take this thing for a spin. Here he is in over the top 1969 Camaro. This is my favorite body style of Camaro. And this one has had some heavily, heavily customized features done on it. Like the uh, spoiler all molded in in the back, all right, back here. So I want to show you one really trick custom feature on this 69 Camaro. Check out those door handles. They're flush mounted and they kind of got a silhouette of an original door handle. But you can see right there, they're flush mounted. And uh, people get excited about Teslas and how they their door handles pop out. But custom guys have been doing that for years. There are several full-blown race cars here today. And in contrast, this is not my thing right here, but like I said, there's a little something for everybody here. And you have to admit, man, this thing would make an impression rolling down the road. Well, here we got a Batman car. I don't know, this was never my favorite Batman car. What do y'all think? Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. Over here, we got kind of a modern interpretation of the Bullet Mustang. Same color combos and everything, but it has got some wide meat underneath it. <laughs> Look at those tires. Let's walk around here and see if we can see the interior a little bit. 
And again, it is more modernized. This is what I would call a resto mod. And there is some uh, details about it. Not really my style and probably not really anything I don't, but I really like this Corvette. This thing is really cool. It looks like it's got uh, a custom wrap on it. Check out that carbon fiber wing right there. Y'all, I was wrong. This is not, this is not the favorite one, huh? You take, <laughs> you take it. This is uh, actually her second favorite. I thought this red one would be it, but she said she liked the gray one better. So we'll have to see what we can do about buying that one. <laughs> Here is another of just one of the full-blown race cars here today. This thing's got a full custom aluminum interior in it. And back here is another. Got a big old blower on the top right there. This is what I would say be a pro street car. Again, it's got the massive hides back here in the back. It even has the wheelie bars back there. Beautiful Tri-5 right here. What's going on with this trim right here on the side? A little bit different there. Right here is what I would refer to is a mildly donked cutlass. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Got a little bit of a nose up stance right here on the front. <laughs> but that would be a lot of fun to cruise around in. Check out this little tot rod. This is a 1941 Willys go-kart. <laughs> I don't know if the camera is gonna pick this up, but this is really cool. It's kind of a holographic display, and it's got some build pictures of this uh, Chevy Bel Air in there. Very cool. Like I said, these guys spend a ton of money on these displays. Hey, y'all. Thanks for coming along and checking out some of the cool stuff at the World of Wheels in Chattanooga. Be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what was your favorite. Until next time, y'all get out there and build something.